Before proceeding, confirm that you have a zebra ribbon to install in the printer. The P330i requires the use of Zebra's True Colors I series ribbons. If you have not purchased True Colors ribbons, please contact your authorized Zebra reseller. To ensure that the ribbon synchronizes properly, keep the printer turned on while replacing the ribbon. Open the printer lid and push the blue release arrow forward. Now lift up the printhead carriage. Remove the used ribbon by pulling out the ribbon and take up spools. To avoid electrostatic damage, never touch the electronic components on the printhead carriage. Hold the ribbon spool in your right hand with the white end facing the printer and the empty spool in your left hand with the tape still attached. Make sure that the ribbon feeds across the top of the spools. Don't worry about touching the ribbon, the ink won't come off on your hands. Now, place the ribbon spool onto the spindle located under the printhead carriage and place the empty spool on the take-up spindle to the left of the carriage. Then, push the spools firmly onto the spindles. Gently press down on the printhead carriage until it clicks into position. The ribbon will now automatically synchronize to its starting position. The printer LCD should display ready. If the LCD still displays out of ribbon or check ribbon, then the ribbon was not loaded properly. The cleaning roller cleans each card as it enters the printer. Every time you change the print ribbon, you must also change the cleaning roller. The blue cleaning cartridge located to the right of the print carriage contains the cleaning roller. To remove the cleaning cartridge, lift up the front edge until you are able to slide the cartridge out of the printer slot. Then, remove the used cleaning roller from the cartridge and discard it. Now, insert the new cleaning roller into the cartridge and remove the tape and protective cover. Making sure that the arrow on the cartridge faces the back of the printer, hold the cartridge at a downward angle and insert the back edge of the cartridge into the slot in the back of the printer. Then push the front of the cartridge down until it clicks into position.